Hi, this is Jonathan. How are you guys doing? In today's video, I'm going to feature something from Fender. This is the Fender Compugilist. Most of the time we will associate Fender with Fender amps or Fender guitars and certain pedals. Uh, they did come out with some pedals, you know, effects back in the days. Uh, but back then, um, pedal, the pedal market was dominated by Boss, you know, um, by Ibanez, you know. And uh, this is the first time that I actually tried a Fender pedal effect. First time. And this is a Compugilist. This has uh, two effects in one unit. Uh, there's the compressor and a distortion.
To be able to control both effects at different times or independently, it's a uh, no-brainer. I mean, you, you should have this on your pedal board if you're looking for a compressor as well as a distortion. Um, in terms of compressor, this has uh, just three knobs. One is a recovery, where you know when how a compressor works is when when a compressor kicks in, you know, it takes a bit of time for the level to go back up to the normal. So the recovery time uh, dictates how fast you want the recovery to be, you know, when the, when the, uh, the actual volume goes up, you know. Uh, the compressor, COMP, uh, how much compressor uh, compressing you want to put in, or compression you want to put into your signal. Um, and of course, there's a level where you can actually kind of like um, adjust it to fit in your non-compressed level so that you you know you won't have the you know too much of a variation um useful i find that the compress uh, ratio is a bit heavy on the heavy side so probably because of the high output of my guitars i don't know maybe this is really good for like low outputs i try to get the lowest output guitar that i can get which is my fender strat here um my japanese fender strat but apparently that will also um yeah it's, it's kind of strong in a way and there is a LED here that says um, gain reduction. So when it lights up, it means that the compressor is working. So it's kind of like compressing the signal that's coming in. Um, really useful, you know. Um, okay, just go just go by one section at one time. I find a compressor uh, workable. It's usable. Uh, like I said, um, the ratio is a bit on the high side. You know, um, I I I'm not hearing like a two to one ratio. I'm hearing like more like three to one onwards you know so it's, it's good for guitars you know you can get real nice compressed clean sound like we, well you probably hear from um if you were my age <laughs> you'll probably hear stuff from david gates brett you know and some of the carpenters carpenters uh so the guitar solo is nice um nice tone without distortion but really nicely compressed and and you can actually get away with, with that on, on the compressor now on the on the other side you have the distortion um, the distortion has uh, the normal thing, you have the tone, you have the gain, and then you have the level. So again, the level uh, will kind of like uh, help you adjust your non your non-distortion tone with your distortion tone. And you have a, a dip switch here where uh, you'll boost up the bass. So just in case you have a, a guitar that is a little bit weak on the weak side and you just want to beef up a little bit, the, the pickups, you know, you can actually have it on. But if you're having this as a signal chain, you know, going down the road with other effects, then it will be advisable to uh, kind of like turn it off in case it gets all muddy as it goes down <laughs> the chain. So, you know what I mean. Other than that, if the unit is pretty basic, you have um, switches here for on and off, and these are true bypass. 
you know and the good thing is that when you turn on the foot switch there's a light that lights up so you can always have all this off by a, a, a switch here where it says LED off if you put it off there's no lights whatsoever you know only the activation of the effect but I find that with the LEDs it's, it's, it's good you know because it's, especially in the stage you know it's so dark you can't see anything so you, at a glance I can tell you know what settings I'm at pretty cool uh, in and out and they have a real neat uh, battery compartment here where you just flip out and that's pretty cool yep all in all a well thought out unit um, built like a tank you know I think this will will not easily succumb to knocks and falls mm, I kind of like the aesthetic of it you know um, this brushed metal gold the gold theme I don't know what it's what you call this it's like you know a goldish uh, brush metal kind of look pretty cool oh mind you uh, the signal chain for this whole thing uh, the on the demo that I played is basically through my helix but I've deactivated all my effects the only thing I have on is my helix amp uh, the amp simulation which I'm using a uh, let me see what I'm using I'm actually using a a, a fender deluxe you know simulation uh, with a with an RR cap and that's about it you know and of course the time based unit so this is like guitar going to into this unit and then straight going to this amp simulation so it's just like a real world where I'll just put in but I thought I'll go through this it's easier for me to record this down instead of marking out and I think it'll probably give you a clearer signal as to uh, how it sounds like you know the compression as well as the distortion so tell me what do you think um, do you think it sounds good and do you own a unit and if you, you do you know how does it how is it working for you um, for me I if I was still using pedal boards you know I, I would probably buy this I probably get this because I think it's really useful you know just put it in the pedal board because you have compressor your distortion so these are all nice for the, the distortion is good for grungy sound you know and um, you know nice rock rift and of course I can kick in another distortion pedal or a high gain pedal for it for the souls and this this is kind of cool I want to thank Ben from Ben Lab Sweetie Singapore for providing this unit uh, for the review and uh, I hope you enjoyed this review I hope you enjoyed this video if you do give me a thumbs up and uh, join this channel all right I'll see you again in the next video take care of yourself ciao